Hi guys, it's Tom here with the Electric Swing Circus and welcome to the next episode of our video blog. We're currently in our hometown of Birmingham at the moment. We're in the Custom Factory which is probably the underground hub of, of well, the hub of underground culture in Birmingham. And I'm outside Hog Goblin Music which is probably my favourite music shop because they have loads of really cool and really different instruments. Now I've just brought a Gypsy Jazz guitar, let's go in and find out more. Hello, Hello. So yeah, I've just bought a Gypsy Jazz guitar. I got the uh, um, the Gitan Slimline. Um, but I suppose I'm fairly new to um, to playing Gypsy Swing. Okay. And I didn't know the difference between a Gypsy Jazz guitar, a Salma, okay, and an acoustic or a classical. Do you want to talk us through yeah, that? Yeah, I'll uh, try to do things. I mean, you can play anything on any guitar, Tom, as you well know. But if you want the Gypsy kind of sound, um, the old Macaferry copies now. The Gitans are great. Things for the oval holes, the D holes, uh, obviously went for the slim one with the fish one yep. pickup and great for live use and things. Very popular at the moment as well. A um, bit wider fingerboard than the standard acoustic. Um, different sound entirely really, great for the gypsy jazz stuff. Then obviously classical as well. Similar kind of width to the fingerboard really, but obviously nylon strings, different sound again. So uh, cool. yeah, we did them all. What, what would you recommend to someone who's just getting into gypsy jazz? Gypsy might, jazz. And, and wants to start, start playing uh, live electro swing? Well, I would say the uh, Gitans are great. Uh, Should we go and have a look? Yeah, let's have a look, yeah. Depends on the budget, time as well, of course. Um, Sagano's are great for a kind of £400. They're a good, a good kind of copy as well. Um, not quite to the spec of the Gitans, but for someone that wants to get into it, he's put pickups and stuff on the bridges, um, all sorts of pickups available. Depends either oval hole or D hole, depends if you want a nice kind of rhythmical projection or lead work or just very individual thing Tom but um, we keep them all anyway. Cool cool. Well I suppose the, the, why I've come to Hog Goblin is because you do have the different types of guitars. I'll be honest I've been to lots of other guitar shops and no one actually stopped them so I definitely recommend these guys. But you're also actually uh, um, in several other cities as well. Um, you're based in Bristol? We are yeah nine of us around the country now. Bristol, London, uh, Crawley, Canterbury, Weybridge in Cornwall, Manchester, so Leeds, we're all over the place, Tom. Cool. And what other instruments might you have that could interest someone making electro swing? Ooh, accordions as well. Accordions, big thing. We stock a lot of accordions. Um, different size accordions. Piano accordions mean mainly gypsy jazz. Um, we do button accordions as well. Um, we do some of the five rows, the continental style. So again, we do all sizes, all prices, new and second hand. So we keep a lot in the Birmingham shop. Um, so yeah. Cool, cool. for recordings as well. Well, we'll stick a link into your website Probably. underneath this video. Um, thanks ever so much for supporting us, and thanks for helping me out with my new guitar. No problem. Um, I can't wait to get home and play it. Okay. Well, I'm home, and I have a new guitar. I thought I'd give you a quick tour and show you what's what. Um, now, Gypsy Jazz guitars, they're also referred to as Salmax or Salma Macaferries because they're copies of the, um, the original Salma um, or Macaferry guitars with the oval holes and the D holes. Now, Guitar, these guitars, when they were designed, um, there wasn't amplification. So the whole thing about these guitars was about making them as loud as physically possible. Um, so the, the holes were designed for projecting, projecting the sound forwards. Now, this is actually the only sound Mac that I'm aware of that, doesn't ha that isn't built for being as loud as possible. And that's because it's got its own installed pickup. Now, normally when you buy a cell Mac, um, they don't install a pickup as standard. Um, you get that done afterwards if you want to, because adding anything to the body of the guitar is going to affect the acoustic properties. Um, but this one, it's, all, it's designed for people like me who want to play it on a, on a loud stage next to a drum kit um, and also not have problems with feedback. Now, I'm going to give you a quick demo and show you how it's different to the, uh, um, the acoustic guitar that I've been playing in the past. Um, so I suppose first of all we're going to start with some, some lead work. Um, obviously I'm playing with a, uh, um, quite a substantial pickup. Um, and I'll do some stuff from, uh, from the electric swing circus. So here we go. the acoustic. Again with metal strings um, and obviously you can see it's a lot, a lot thicker so it's going to have a, a different resonant quality and obviously we're not listening to the amplified sound. Um, but this is what that sounds like on the acoustic. Okay, 
Yeah, yeah. So um, that's, uh, I suppose, the, a quick demo of the differences between the um, the Salmac and the acoustic. So um, the, I suppose, I guess, far as saying the acoustic has a sort of a, a more rounded sound, um, and the Salmac is it's much more scratchy. It's much more, it's a bit more gritty. It's a bit more, um, a bit more dirty. And that's just what we want for electric swing because we want to get that um, that grime from the 1920s, and obviously. Add in the uh, the modern sheen from the bass and the uh, um, and the drum beats. So yeah, that's a, a quick tutorial. Um, hopefully you'll uh, see me playing this guitar on stage soon. Um, first gig is uh, with it is in a, um, next next week next Saturday, and we're playing at Mr Wolf's in Bristol. So fingers crossed. See you there. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys soon. Bye bye.